Bender is on her way to surgery. She's getting a tumor removed at the Turtle Hospital in the Florida Keys. In 30 years of work, the team here has become expert in rescuing and rehabilitating sea turtles. But now it's struggling with the hike in patient numbers. Well, the biggest challenge for us is it never ends. It never ends. Every week, the same thing over and over and over again. We're trying to fix these animals. And as soon as you think you're getting caught up, more animals come in. Of 173 sea turtles treated last year, the vast majority of them were for tumors like Sparty's. This is a young green turtle, and it's covered with papillomas, which is a, a tumorous-like growth caused by a herpes virus. And unfortunately, it's found circumglobal. And we get several of these a week in. The increase of such tumors could simply be due to the fact that Florida's population of green sea turtles is rebounding. But Doug says global warming and pollution might also play a part. As they operate, they hope to educate tourists who come to see them in action. Their third patient of the day is also their largest, a male loggerhead turtle with a fishing hook stuck in his hard palate. Despite their efforts, the hook can't be removed. We can't find it. We couldn't see it with the endoscope. We can't even feel it. So it's so deep, I don't think it's causing any problems. Now it's time for the turtles to recover. The hospital currently has over 60 turtles in rehab. Those that were operated for fibropapillomas stay for a year. She had tumors covering both of her eyes, and you can see they're healing nicely. And she's probably got about three more surgeries in front of her. Because many are already too sick, only one in five green sea turtles with these tumors are making it back out to the wild. But that doesn't keep the hospital's crew from trying to save them all.